Hey, Gaia. It's me. Hello, Aloy. Did you wish to continue our discussion? You mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that ether at work? Yes. Thanks to ether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. Well, that's a relief. Be nice not to have to fight my way through a storm anymore. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. Why did Aether take up residence in an ancient war museum? As with the other subordinate functions, Aether needed to install itself on a processor with adequate storage and power. The one in the museum appears to have been sufficient, given that the holographic displays were still active. So Aether was assured it could stay for as long as it needed to? Correct. Though it is curious that it chose a place surrounded with the ancient ruins of aircraft. Maybe it also felt at home there. How's Catalo doing? I have detected that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him. In an effort to remedy this, I have discussed a potential solution with him. I believe he will want to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can, then. So there's a few people here now, and they're learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. The processor Aether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum, a memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However, climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures returned to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. I guess I should get going. As you say. Be well. Aloy. Is your focus acting up again? Nah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. Usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Aloy, you found another one of Gaia's sub-functions? Two down, one to go. 
I'm glad her healing can continue. Have you met Catalo yet? Yes, but he has kept to himself. Tanakhs don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. Are you serious? Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. I better get going. Right. You've got that subfunction to deliver. Hey, look who's back. You find what you're looking for? I did. One step closer to taking the fight to the Zeniths. Can't wait. I made a new friend while I was getting Ether. Yeah, I've seen him. Catalo's a broody fellow. You do know the cards just say these Tanakh drink people's blood? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I, I guess if you trust him, so do I. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. So I hear. I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. He's still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these, uh, holofilms. Like, images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. I better get going. All right. I'll be here uh, if you need me. Did you talk this afternoon with him? Nah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. Usually works if I just flick it a few times with my thumb. Hey, look who's back. You find what you're looking for? I did. 
One step closer to taking the fight to the Zeniths. Can't wait. I made a new friend while I was getting Ether. Yeah, I've seen him. Catalo's a broody fella. You do know the cards just say these Tanakh drink people's blood? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I, I guess if you trust him, so do I. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. What did you do? I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these, uh, holofilms. Like, images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. What are you reading next? I saw a guy added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. The guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Osaram things do. With a spark and a boom. I better get going. All right. I'll be here. Yeah, if you need me. Aloy, you found another one of Gaia's sub-functions? Two down, one to go. I'm glad her healing can continue. Have you met Catalo yet? Yes, but he has kept to himself. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru Leaf Grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. I better get going. Right. You've got that sub-function to deliver. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door.
birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the Daddy data on your focus. Mom, She's been watching it a lot. Party, right? I think it helps yeah. calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little big... But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda, you saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was the liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I... I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. 
portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't! Okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean... It wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him. But he raised you. Trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Snowfalls blanketing the land. Signal must be coming from that tall deck.
There's Ikota. Ready to hunt some machines. Aloy. Here. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close. As are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. I've hunted this forest since I was a boy. And when the clans were at war, Shikata and I helped hold it from the Lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Shikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for United Tribe. And volunteered for the very first cool route. I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often, and I was always glad when he did. There! Mr. Must I've be heard of your watcher. skill, so I'll follow your lead. But be careful, there may be more about it. I'm on it. Coming. Looks like the hunt's not over yet. Ha! That's a piece of scrap. Ah! <laughs> 
Uh, a scorcher. Uh, guess those rumors were true. Uh, Was a hunt. Well done. Come here for a moment. You fought well, better than any marshal. Better than Shikata, even. You too. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, I felt an ache in my chest. I know he's gone forever. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. He did a good thing for the village and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. Here, take this. You deserve it. You're young and strong with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday you could come back if you're up for another hunt. I just might be.
break my fall? Atomic must be the one sending the signal. Settlement. It's abandoned. But I have to get me on that tarmac. If I can find a way to the top. <laughs> Coordinates the guy gave me for Demeter are close.
There's lights in that ruin. I better keep my guard up. <laughs> 